Oh man, we're coming in. Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today we're out running the Arma Outcast 4S version 2 again. And man guys, I have been loving this truck. I've had it out a few times now. My first run was just up at the top of my street. Today we are back here at the school where I run a lot. But I've had it out guys a few times just without the camera. Just to get a good feel for it. So nice. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, if you guys can't tell by now, this is one easy truck to drive. I know I've mentioned that in the initial driving video I did, the first video I did, but man, it just gives you so much confidence. So if you're looking just to get out, just to, you know, have a good time, you know, sort of, I don't want to call this a learner's truck. I don't want to call this a beginner's truck because let's face it, it's an Arma, it's a 4S Outcast. You're going to be able to bash it. You're going to be able to have a lot of fun with it, but the durability is there. The durability is there. The fact that, and guys, by the way, I'm still using the SLT3 transmitter. So you have that adjustment switch for the uh, 50%, 75 and 100%. You can come out with this truck, rip it around, have a good time with it, hand that transmitter over to your kids, let them have a good time. Whew. And your air is just absolutely effortless. And that's what I think guys, I'm really liking about this platform is that because it's 4S, you're not, I don't know, I find I don't have to drive it as hard. I don't have to come up to this ramp with as much speed to get air and to have fun with it. As you can see, it just goes so nice. The only guys complaint I have so far with this truck, the only one, is that because of that width, and it is pretty crazy, it's a definitely guys a really wide truck, which hey, that has a lot of pluses, so I'm not gonna uh, knock it for the width guys, is that you'll just find that the steering could be a little bit better. I don't know if we ran with something, you know, like a, you know, let's say a faster servo, I don't think you need like a crazy torque servo or anything like that, like a good servo, but just something a little bit faster, you would definitely improve your steering. But again, this is a stunt truck. It's not meant to, you know, be cornering quickly or anything like that. You're not going to be taking it around a track. So really I can live with it. But man, it's fun to drive. And you know what guys, for the most part, I still, as I've been ripping it around here, haven't been able to do any really full throttle, like, you know, more than a couple of second blips. Even that guy's right there is about three quarters throttle. So the power with the stock system is definitely adequate and it's definitely working. All right, let me try a couple more jumps. Again, hopefully you guys can see this because the sun is right over me. Whew. Just launches, man. I hope the air is coming across. I feel like I should have another camera positioned over there so that you guys can get more of a side view because my, my skills from driving from the side usually don't work out very well. Let's hope we hit this. Woo! Doubles are, 
I don't think I've ever had a truck that I've been able to double so easily. It's like, honestly guys, I've only driven this truck now, I think maybe three times. I had the initial run, I'm out today, and I did go out one time in between. Uh, and man, this thing is wicked. One thing guys I should mention, after the first run, I did come home, I went over the truck, I had one tire that had just kind of slightly came unglued, and I also had checked my slipper, which was fine. It, it, was, it hadn't backed off, it hadn't loosened or anything like that, so it was still good to go. So you know what, having that slipper, guys, is just that little bit of extra sort of added protection that if you did come down really hard on a landing, on the throttle, Uh, that you, you know what, it, it kind of helps save your drivetrain in general, guys. So, I grew up with trucks having slippers. And again, as long as you can, as long as you keep them, you know, basically the maintenance up, keep them snug. Like I've said, snug it up, back it off, maybe a quarter of a turn, you'll be good to go. Holy. You know, guys, I'm going to say something here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying stuff like this when you review a vehicle. But, uh, you know, I've been lucky enough now to review two Armas. The Arma Fire Team and the Arma Outcast. It was sent to me right from them. And, you know, I watch back some of my videos sometimes and I'm like, man, I just... Like, I, I sound like a, like a fanboy. I sound like, you know, I'm, I'm paid to talk the way I'm talking. But... Honestly, guys, I have been so lucky. I've got to review two awesome trucks for them. <laughs> and so all I can say, guys, man, is this, the excitement that you hear in my voice is honest guys excitement because this truck is just wicked. Couple more jumps. Let's see how we do. Oh man, we're coming in. Yeah. Guys, man, this thing is crazy. What I'm gonna do to you guys now is just throw it up on the tailgate. I'm gonna check over my temps. I didn't bring my temp gun or anything. But I just want to give it a quick feel because, like I mentioned, guys, it is super hot out here. All right. I need to redeem myself after that. <laughs> Seriously, guys, a double... Just crawling up to the ramp is awesome. All right, so temps feel pretty good. You can see both fans are spinning. There is a little bit of warmth here, but again, guys, I can't stress this enough. It is so friggin' hot. It's beautiful out, but I think right now it's close to like 24 or 25 degrees Celsius at nine o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be another hot one today. One thing I wanna mention, guys, the first one I did with this, I was running the red line just like I am now. And I said in that video that I charged it up to 4.2. I didn't bring it up to the high voltage uh, peak. This ESC, being that it's a 4S ESC <clears throat> and has the auto detect for the lipos, does not work with the high voltage. When I charged this up, guys, to the 4.35 per cell, this didn't recognize it. Now, that is very common with a lot of 4S ESCs. So that's not necessarily, guys, a fault or anything, but I'm just making you guys aware that this ESC will not work with the high voltage cells. It just doesn't recognize it. I would power it up, it would blink red, the steering would work and all that kind of stuff. It just didn't detect it. So I discharged it down to your standard kind of LiPo voltage, your 4.2 per cell, and yeah, powered right up, no issues whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna give this a couple of minutes to cool down and then we're gonna get it back out. All right guys, I moved myself into the shade a little bit here because I just wanna kind of give this thing a couple of, you know, wicked little speed kind of blips ripping around the track showing you guys how it handles and obviously guys showing you some speed because 
Yeah, this thing is just wicked. For a truck that is a stunt truck, it just handles so well. About half into it, guys, here, maybe, maybe getting to three quarters. There's full throttle, and yeah, I can't do the corner. That's my skills. We are gonna try this again. Here we go, about half throttle here. Full throttle, and we are off. Man, what guys, a wicked, wicked truck. I am so impressed. I can't really see it right now because of the dust. Full throttle, getting those wheelies. Man, I like that. All right, guys, we're gonna bring this back. We're gonna put it on the tailgate. Because you know what? To be fair to me and the truck, it is so hot. Wah! That you know what? I you know what? If we if I was to start having guys heat issues right now, it's not fair to the truck. Anyways, we're gonna bring this bad boy by for one more pass. Full throttle, kind of. Full throttle. Wah! That's wicked. All right, let's bring it back on the tailgate. All right guys, so there it is. That is actually, I think now the third run of this truck. I did one on, on video. The second one, I just kind of came out by myself uh, without the camera. Actually, I had my kids with me. They were riding their bikes around the parking lot, but I gave it a kind of a fun rip that night and then today. And I want you guys to know something right off the bat that yes, I was sent this as an early release from Arma to review it, but I don't want you guys to think that that is swaying what I think of this truck and swaying my comments in any way because I am very impressed with this truck and I hope it comes across on camera. I hope the videos speak for themselves, guys, because this thing is so much fun out of the box. It's unbelievable. There is not one, well, okay, sorry. The servo, I think I could, I think I would like a faster servo. But for everything else, guys, in this truck right now, the wheels and tires, the actual parts, so the plastic, the composite plastic, the ESC, the motor, the way it's geared, uh, running, obviously, guys, this 4S cell pack. This truck is an absolute animal and an absolute blast. And when I was out that night, I probably should have kind of recorded it, but I did have both my kids try the truck on 50 and 75%. And, you know, it was funny because my daughter was so into it. She was like, oh, Dad, this is, you know, this is a lot of fun. I can drive this truck. Look at how good I can do it now. She's thinking that she's driving it uh, the same way I drive it or the way her brother was driving it, not realizing that I turned it down and, you know, dropped the throttle to 50%. But, you know what, guys, stay tuned. My next video on this truck is going to be kind of like a first review, uh, first kind of driving impressions video because I've only driven this truck, guys, three times. But I can tell you guys this much. I have come out here before with new trucks, new buggies, whatever. And you'll watch a video of them and then you never see them again. Because my first impressions are usually bang on the money. I don't need to run a truck two, three, four times. I don't need to start modifying the, you know, the wazoo out of it to get it to the point that I know I'm gonna like it. And again, guys, with this truck out of the box, I am loving it. I enjoy taking it out. I enjoy being able to send it. As you guys can see today, we did some nice jumps. We did some nice doubles, but yet still rip it around. You saw it out there on the track. It was absolutely crazy out there. So again, guys, stay tuned for my kind of first review slash impressions video because this truck is definitely, you're gonna see it everywhere. I can tell you guys that much right now because if you're out there and you're thinking, hey, you wanna pick up a basher, you've got kids, or even if it's just you, you're gonna love this truck. But anyways, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Please subscribe. And yeah, there might be a few picks at the end.